Hi, my name's Gab. If you're new here, let me tell you that I'm someone that loves life. I like spending quality time with friends and family. I'm also someone that loves traveling. I love visiting new places and trying new things. I have two hobbies. I love singing and I love skating. I've been skating ever since I was a little boy. And fun fact, I actually do it now professionally. Yes, I'm a professional figure skater. This is what this channel's all about. Tag along as I bring you on board a cruise ship in my crazy life as a professional figure skater. Hey guys! Today is September 4th, and today is a very important day because it marks the start of our crossing cruise. We are uh, going on a 14-day cruise and crossing across the Arctic Circle. So this will be my first time up in the Arctic. I'm super excited to actually um, maybe see um, icebergs and anything Arctic. I can't believe it's actually happening. So we are going. I have my schedule right here. So we're going to Kristiansand tomorrow, which is in Norway. Norway? Or is it in Denmark? I have no clue. There's not much to do there, but I do have an idea of what I want to do. And then we have two sea days, so back-to-back -back sea days. And then we're going to the first Iceland port, which is our show day. And we have drill in the morning, so we won't have much time in that port. But it's called Akureyri. 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 Uh, and apparently it's a cute little town, mountains all around, so I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Uh, and then we go to Reykjavik, which is the other Iceland port, and we have an overnight there, and I don't, we don't have any work. So I'm hoping that everything's going to go to plan. I do have COVID testing this week, but I don't feel sick, so we should be fine. Okay, we're putting it out there. I'm going to Iceland. Okay, this is why I took this contract. And then the week, that's a full week. And then the next week... We have two more, wait, two more sea days. And the second sea day, we're going through Prince Christian Sand, which is like uh, just a place where ships can go through. And apparently it's really pretty and there's mountains on both sides. So that'll be exciting. I, we can uh, see that from the ship. And then we're stopping in which is in Greenland. And then we're going to Nuuk, we have a full day there off, so that'll be that's also in Greenland, and then three sea days back to back. We're also doing a full melt, so we'll be helping out with that. Uh, so full melt is when you melt the ice and then you rebuild it during this crossing. So we have a lot of things going on. I think we're gonna do this vlog in two parts, so week number one and week number two. Uh, but I am so excited! So I just came back from muster drill. I did it with Alex. And it went really well. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm just gonna go sit on the pool deck, uh, enjoy the sun, go for a walk. I literally have nothing to do ever since I stopped school. So, um, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Japanese food? Mm. Not really, huh? Asian food. <laughs> it's Shinatsu's birthday, and I thought I was the dumb one that thought it was Asami's birthday. <laughs> and I went to wish happy birthday to Asami. And I love how everywhere, everywhere in the in the group it says Shinatsu's birthday, Shinatsu's birthday, and I go up to Asami, happy birthday. <laughs> Anyways, so we're full. And now I don't know what we're doing. Do you guys want to go to an outlet shopping? I just saw my credit card bill and I can't shop anymore. So I think I'm just going to walk outside, get some fresh air, enjoy the last of Christian San. Christian San. The last of Europe before we leave, yeah.
back on board. So I bought a beanie. I have to stop spending because I've been spending a lot lately. Oh my God. Anyways, it's an orange beanie for Iceland. It's just a typical boring beanie. My hair is a mess. Let me put my other beanie back on. So me and Alex have a course from midnight to 3 a.m. I don't want to do much this afternoon because I don't want to spend a lot of energy. I want to keep it for that course. I have this backpack right here. Oh no, I really want to put these patches on. I only put this one on so far and I have all of these countries that I need to put on. I don't have Canada even though I live there so I need to buy that one. I want to buy all the countries I did in the Bahamas to make it like a big collection. I think I'm going to do that this afternoon. It'll be fun. It'll be relaxing. I'll put some TV on, maybe a movie, and just sew these patches on. It's so amazing, like, when you have no school, how much time you have, like, to just relax and do nothing. <laughs> Now it's almost midnight, it's 11.37. I'm slowly getting ready to do my course from 11 to 3 a.m. I'm probably going to wanna die because I'm extremely tired and do not wanna do this, but I have no choice. So I'm setting up here in the conference center. Alex should be joining me very soon, shortly, so. We're gonna be doing that, and then tomorrow we have all skates, but it's okay, they start at 11.30, so we've got some time. Good morning, guys! Today is September, wait, 6th. This is sea day number one, we're crossing. Uh, it, it's gonna take two days to get to the first port in Iceland. So I'm excited. Uh, I have all skates in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna have to get ready uh, for all skates. I also have to dry my hair and put my uniform on. Um, and apart from that, it's gonna be a pretty easy day. We do have crew all skates later tonight, so we're inviting the crew to come and skate and have a good time, so we're volunteering uh, to do that. It's just to keep our crew happy, and that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll go for a walk this afternoon. I'll look at things that I uh, can do in Iceland. I'm just gonna close my Wi-Fi because I don't want to waste it all because I bought this Wi-Fi. And yeah, so let's go do some all skates. I got set up for these all skates. We're quite busy. We're having fun. We got free pizza and drinks, and it's a good time. Woo! Life is a marathon, a journey that we're always on. It's currently midnight, well, 12.26, hour back, so technically 11.26 because uh, every time we go west, we're going an hour back. Anyways, I heard there might be some uh, Aurora Borealis or in or Northern Lights. Anyways, tonight there's a 10% chance, so I'm gonna go sit for a couple, at least half an hour outside just to see 
if I can manage to catch a glimpse of the northern lights. I'm crossing my fingers, getting changed, I'm putting something warm on because apparently it's really cold out and I'm just gonna go there by myself because everybody's gone to bed. But I really wanna see the northern lights. So let's go. Okay guys, we're out on the pool deck to get our nose painted blue because we'll be crossing the Arctic Circle soon. You know who that person is, it's the Lord of the Sea. Who's the Lord of the Sea? It is indeed King Neptune. So uh, funny enough, he's here on board. Please welcome the Lord of the Sea, King Neptune! And enjoy peaceful calm seas. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Arctic Circle! With our blue noses. She put a lot on mine. <laughs> yeah, yours is going to be on it. <laughs> okay. I don't see any icebergs yet. It's freezing up here. We're, I believe we're in the Arctic Circle, I would assume. If we, did this, like if we did this whole ceremony. King Neptune came. Yeah, so King Neptune granted us here. permission to uh, go into the Arctic. Is it Arctic or Arctic? Arctic. 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 But you can say it however. I can, you can say it however. I'm forcing Jordan to play mini putt. Oh, I love it. Because we have our blue noses, and I want to keep them for at least an hour to get pimples. <laughs> so, so what are we doing? Playing putt putt. We're playing putt putt. Here we go. <laughs> it's time. Jordan's up next. My ball's over there. Okay, here she goes. Oh, wow. That was also pretty good. But it's good. Currently heading to Studio B because I'm skating tonight. We have shows tomorrow, so I thought I'd skate tonight just to feel the ice because I haven't skated in a while. So I'm just gonna jump a little bit, maybe run my solo just to remember how to do it, remember how to skate, you know? I got up, got my morning cup of coffee, waiting for drill to start, and it's my first time seeing the Icelandic uh, region. <laughs> what? Excuse me. There's a thermal waterfall right there, and I haven't even stepped foot in this country. This is just crazy. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. Guys, I am currently 
in Iceland. Um, still can't process the fact that I'm in Iceland. There's literally a waterfall over there. Uh, gorgeous mountains in the background. We just finished drill. Now I'm gonna walk to, towards the city, maybe walk around in the city. I heard they had really cool waterfalls maybe 30 minutes away, so we'll see what I'm gonna do. I gotta be back by 3.45 because I do have shows tonight. So, I gotta work later. Well, let's go. Let's head to the city. Okay, I just spontaneously bought a ticket to go see the Godfast waterfalls. Uh, I bought three tickets, one for Alex, me and Pasha. Uh, they were quite expensive, but it's okay, they'll pay me back. <laughs> and the bus is right there, so it departs at one o'clock. And we go to the waterfalls, have a little two hours there, and then we come back at 3.30, and I have warm up at 3.45, so I'm gonna have to run and get my skates on. But that's okay, because we're in Iceland. Holy guacamole. Anyways, now I'm gonna go uh, tour the city a little bit, and um, then head to the bus at one o'clock. Okay, so this church right here, right behind me, is called Akurera Rikirkraja. <laughs> and it's a church here in Akureyri. They say Lutheran church in Northern Iceland. And this is a city in Northern Iceland. Um, located in the center city. Okay, so this is the center of the city. Quite a small town, guys. And it was completed in 1940. There's a funeral right now, so I'm not gonna go and bother them inside and go visit the church. I kind of feel bad for these people because there's a funeral, but there's a thousand tourists around the church gathered. It must be annoying to live here and have a bunch of tourists all the time. So I am currently in the northernmost botanical garden, I believe and they have all Icelandic floral species and just also imported plants, they said. Okay, just went to see the botanical gardens. Now I'm heading back into town to grab a little bite to eat before we leave to see the waterfalls. I'm so excited. I was with Matthew and we believe that was a whale's blowhole. So I think that was a whale. Guys, I saw the tip of a whale. They're always in the bay. So you go under that bridge? Yeah. Guys, we're in Iceland! We are going to the waterfalls. Apparently the lady overbooked. She wanted to kick us out, but nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no thank you. We waited six months for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to the waterfalls. Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare To the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's Christian company. There is only so one guy. Or that is what our church tour guide is not the best. We have to go back it's just to the white basically area. telling us what's outside our bus. Oh, the see the horses, see the sheep, see the mountains. <laughs> They believe That's what he's doing. <laughs> but we're having a blast.
Hey okay, guys, we're at the waterfalls. After a long drive with a boring tour guide, we made it to the waterfalls. She said life is just a symbol for the pain that you can get through. Like a camel through the needle, everyday people are just a thousand versions of who they Hey guys we made it down here it is so beautiful we're in Iceland now we're doing a photo shoot our new Facebook profile photo it's cold yeah are we allowed to drink yeah, the water? yeah people drink it just don't call me this GI <laughs> I still can't believe how beautiful the waterfalls are. I compared it to Niagara Falls, but I don't think you can compare it because Niagara Falls is something in itself, you know? It's, I think, Niagara Falls is probably three times the size of these waterfalls, but still quite impressive. And we're in Iceland which to me is another, I can't believe I'm up here. I would never thought in my entire life that I'd be here in Iceland, but I am. Now I think we're crossing the bridge. We're gonna try to go to the other side, see if we can get a better view from the, for a better view of the waterfalls, there. made it in time for warm up just finished warm up did my makeup had a little food now i'm gonna go sit out on the helipad because apparently where we're going through is a place where there's a lot of whale activity so i'm hoping to see whale let's go and let's head up there i have 45 minutes so i'm just gonna sit out and whale watch currently out on the helipad it's quite windy To the airport, terminal three, a couple carry on bags. Please don't wait. These, what do you do? A little tour rate, me, 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 and my brother. We flying down for the weekend. We got an Airbnb by the beach. Have you been there? Come hit a party if you speak French. We, we, well, are we gonna be friends? Yeah. So, party book cars. We're looking to recruit for the party crew. The names JJ, co star is Bruce. Then we love a little green like Molly do. Yeah, got a feeling it's season. Guys, we just finished the show and they made an announcement. The queen just died. Oh no. Princess Elizabeth of York, she came to the throne at the age of just 25, following the sudden death of her father, King George VI. I think she lived a good life, right? 96 is not a bad age to die. Anyways, very good show. Now I have to do it again, so I'm going to eat an apple. Retouch up my makeup and get a Coca-Cola. Maybe I'll go wait outside for a little bit because it's, uh, I don't know, I want to see if there are any whales again. So, yeah, that's the plan. I believe it's a little too dark for any whale watching. But you know what? At least I tried. So I have an antigen test tomorrow, so a COVID test because we have them once a week and this week's my week. I am so nervous for it. Not that I'm in any way sick, like I'm, I don't feel sick at all and I know I don't have COVID, but it's just sometimes those tests have false positive and that's what I'm worried about and they lock people up anyways. Even if it's false positive, the people on the cruise ship, they just lock you up. They don't want to take any chances. And I'm like, can we just retest like three or four times just to double check? But no, I guess not. Anyways, let's not think about it. Let's enjoy it. I'm having a good day today. One more show, show food. I'm going to go to bed. I just, I'm someone that has a lot of anxiety for these things. It's like, I really want to have a good time tomorrow. So that's why I'm like overthinking it. 
but I just gotta relax, take it easy. We have one more show to do, and then it's really cloudy out, so I doubt we'll be able to see any northern lights tonight. We'll still try. Maybe. And yeah, so one more show, let's go. Guys, we have a little dilemma. Tabawet, right, the light. So apparently, the glycol, oh, it's too dark in here. What's holding the ice together, what's freezing it, it's leaking somewhere. So they lost all glycol, so the ice is just melting. And we have a show in about five minutes. So they said to dumb down your tricks and just be safe out there, but it, they said they were restarting it, so mid-show it should be back to freezing. <laughs> or not. If they don't or, fix it, or it's not. be worse. <laughs> Alex is the first one out I'll there. She'll know if it's good or not. <laughs> so once what ha whatever happens in Alex's double axle, we know. <laughs> if something goes wrong, it's like, this okay. Says, this says when you step on the ice. I step in the double axle. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Woohoo! This is going to be a fun yeah, night. <laughs> oh my god, my ears. We have arrived in Reykjavik, which is the capital of Iceland. Passed my COVID test this morning, guys! I do not have COVID. Thank the Lord. It's currently 2.30, so we just docked. They started letting guests out. I believe our car is at 3 o'clock, but now I heard an announcement that they were only letting crew out at 3.30. Anyways. So yeah, um, we were in Iceland again, and we're going to be going around the Golden Circle. So we're going to go see geysers, uh, waterfalls, and then we're sleeping in little tents tonight. It's pouring rain out, but we don't care because we're going to have a blast. And tomorrow we are going to the Black Beach, uh, which is one of the locations where they shot um, Game of Thrones. So I'm really excited, guys. I didn't know that Reykjavik was such a big city. It seems like a pretty big city, so. Anyways, I'm excited to go. So uh, in a couple, maybe in an hour, we'll be able to get off and get to our car and drive off into Iceland. Guys, we made it off the ship. We are in Reykjavik, which is the capital of Iceland. And this is the bus that is gonna take us to our car. And we're gonna drive up the golden circle. I am so excited. It's really warm. I had a poncho, a winter coat, a raincoat on. I think I overdid it just a little bit. I'm from Canada. I'm supposed to be used to this weather, but I guess not. Anyways, they're all in my bag now. I'm all packed for our little trip, our little excursion. Hi, Max! We're in a... <laughs> <laughs> We're in our car, guys. It's a Hyundai. What is it? So professional. No, he's making sure. We should take photos. Yeah, exactly. We should take photos of it. It's so professional. Everything is good. So Pasha's are um, making sure that everything's Pasha's guy settled. Door. <laughs> guy door. Oh, we're off. We have to stop at a grocery store. There's the famous church there that we might stop at as well. Yeah, we're stopping at church and and then, and then we're on the road. Uh, so the geyser pasha and the waterfall is like right next to each other. So it's like almost a one-stop thing. Okay. Where do they put the keys? <laughs> That's a great start. We already lost the keys to the car. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> do you know how to drive? Yeah. Step number two. Step number two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Our first stop, guys, we stopped at the church, Reykjavik Church. We're gonna take photos and then we're gonna stop at a grocery store and get some food for tonight. It's already like four o'clock, so the day is going so fast because we got there too late with the ship. I don't know why they dropped us off at two. Anyways. Photos and then rock. Yeah, when I wanna feel the love, I give it to myself. I can't get it from nobody else. We have stopped at the grocery store, guys. Oh. Interesting. This GPS is making us go in these weird places. I have 
what, a bunch of snacks. It's very expensive in Iceland. <laughs> Very, very expensive. I think I spent $60 and I don't have much. So, <laughs> two sandwiches. Yeah, two sandwiches, bananas, and apples <laughs> for $60. So, you guys can see how expensive it is. So, they say we're gonna be there at around 6 30. So, it's an hour and 15 minutes to get to the falls and the geyser. Not too bad. came did not flee there they are the east spoke the same had the same dream same pain the same feeling. it is so beautiful to me i think it's so crazy that there are absolutely no trees because it's volcanic rock and it's too cold for trees to grow here to me that's crazy but just look at that look at how So I was looking at little places uh, next to the road we're taking and there's this place where they have a hot spring and they can bake bread in the ground because the water is so hot underneath. There it is, it's burning up honey. Dangerous geothermal area. All traffic around this area needs carefulness it says. Wow. It crazy. I think there, look, there's a path, Alex. Look, the it's steaming. The water's steaming. There are two. The earth is alive. <laughs> earth is boiling. <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> Guys, the ground is boiling. This is hot. It's like a swamp. What? <laughs> what? And stink. <laughs> okay, we did it. Thank you. Crash. It stinks. Yeah, it smells like sulfur. Oh, that was amazing. It's crazy. Mother Nature. <laughs> okay, as you can see in the back, it's steaming. We're at our second stop. This is a geyser. Every 15 to 20 minutes, I believe, it bursts up in the air. So we're hoping to catch it today. I think we have to walk a little bit to go see it. Uh, but I'm excited. We're a little worried because um, we have to be at our Airbnb at 10 o'clock and it's three hours away. So hopefully they're not gonna be mad at, mad at us because we're there late. But anyways. Let's just not think about it now. Okay, so it just burst it open. So we have another 15 minutes maybe for the next one. But that means I brought them at the right place. <laughs> because I'm the one that researched this place. I was hoping that I didn't make a mistake. It's not too long and we waited four minutes. Yeah. Well, maybe, no, maybe seven minutes. I don't know. 
We saw it! Beautiful! Okay, we're at the Golfas, Golfas Waterfalls. And from here you can see a massive glacier over there. Which to me is crazy. I have never seen a glacier in my life. So that's when the snow never mel melts all year round. Uh, these are one of the biggest waterfalls here in Iceland. So I'm excited to actually see them. They're right there. Uh, we're gonna walk all the way towards them, take a little photo, and then head to our Airbnb, I believe. We have made it to the waterfalls. It is beautiful. We can feel the water all the way up here and we're quite far away. Those people right there are humans. I don't know if you can see. The scale of this waterfall. Guys, so uh, we texted our Airbnb. We don't have to be there at 10 o'clock. So we're stopping at this waterfall in the middle of the night. Because I saw a waterfall and I was like, Pasha Alex, we're stopping. <laughs> so we can't really see anything but tomorrow morning when we wake up it should be beautiful <laughs> tonight it's just too dark it's 10 37 or 10 40 so it's quite late guys i have made it i'm in the hut it's freezing <laughs> it's so tiny what the hell <laughs> it's a little tent <laughs> Three hundred dollars for this. <laughs> so we're in our little communal area, having some wine, because we bought some wine. I bought three little bottles. <laughs> I think it was a little excessive. I think we got excited and thought we were going to be here earlier, but no, we made many pit stops. The tent is adorable. Pasta's doing camping for the first time. <laughs> so he's <laughs> it's really nice though. I I don't know if I turned the blankets on. I'm not sure. No. <laughs> Maybe I did. Because we also have like a heater. I didn't turn that one on yet. I'm yeah. We'll see when I get back there. I will. I turned the light on. That's all I did. I think. I turn the power bank and the light. Only, only the light. No, the light didn't work before I turned the power bank. So. <laughs> oh my god. Cheers. Cheers. It's our little adventure. Can you think how crazy we're in Iceland having wine and beer? And okay, this is cool. We don't even know where we are actually we because know. it was really dark. <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise tomorrow. Guys, we're about to head back. We just met the owner. We are now terrified <laughs> because 
He was really sweet. He's just a very odd. He kind of seemed like a serial killer odd. But you know what? That's fine. So first, the first time he came in, we were like, oh, hi. And he never said he was the owner. Never, ever. He was just like getting coffee. And he's like, you guys are enjoying the place? Yeah. And talking to us. And then he, then we realized, like we said, understood that he was the owner. He left. And then a lady came back in and was like, oh, nice to meet you. I was talking to you. Yeah, like Airbnb contact. And we were like, oh, phew. She seems nicer. But then he came back to come and check us out. Maybe because we're young kids. Drinking wine. <laughs> Drinking wine. wine. In Iceland. Yeah, maybe that's why. Anyways, he was a little odd. So we'll update you if I get killed tomorrow or tonight. I'll update you. I'll if let we you know. Get we, we update you. Uh, I'll take over the vlogs. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay. Now we're heading back to the tent. Try to start to fade.